okay, so I've got this website, but I want to add a new font. I want to change my headings. These headings here, that they, they look all right, but I would like to make them a little bit more, uh, I don't know, I want them to stand out a little bit more. So um, I'm going to use Google Fonts to do that. First thing that we're going to do is I'm going to talk about where it needs to go. So there's two things that we need to do. One, we're going to need to put a link to the, our new font to get it to load here in between the two head tags. Now it's important that I have this style sheet and I want to link to the fonts before I link to the style sheet. So I want to make sure that it's above like a line of code above that spot in my style sheet. Then I'm going to have to add the a style rule or a style property that says, hey, pick up all the headings, heading one, heading two, heading three, whichever ones I want to style with the new font. And I'm going to put that rule here. I know that on my website, this is a heading one. And these down here are heading threes. So I'm going to go to style.css and do heading one, comma, heading three. This is going to style both of those elements, all the H1 elements and all the H3 elements with a new font. All right, now let's go pick a font. So I'm going to go to fonts.google.com and I'm going to uh, first, I'm going to just delete everything that I had before. I want to pick a font that I like. I want something kind of blocky and tech looking. So um, maybe I'll go to the filters and try to look for something. I don't want it to have serifs. Um, the serifs are the little feet at the end. I want mine to be sans serif just because that's what I want. I know it's going to be a display because it's just a heading. I wouldn't want to do something like this for a paragraph text, but uh, some of these other ones look pretty good. Maybe something monospace. Um, I don't know. We, we'd have to kind of think about it. Uh, think about what you what you want your headings to look like, but I want mine to be in this display, real big blocky style. So I'm going to scroll down until I find some. This one's kind of cool. It's a little bit hard to read. Otherwise I'd pick that pixel fi one. Um, I like, I really like this Orbitron. I think that's what I want my, my headings to be. It look very techy, looks good. So when I want to pick this one, right? Um, I'm going to click on it first on Google Fonts, and now I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to try to find the one that I, I like the best. They have different font weights, so it's a little thicker, et cetera. We kind of got to pick what we want. I know mine's going to be a heading, so I want something in the medium thickness. I don't want it too thick. I think that's hard to read. I'm going to select this medium 500. I like that one. I click the Add button. Now what's going to happen when I add this button is, boom, it adds this little view selected font families. Now I can open that. And when I open that, I can see, okay, I've picked Orbitron. Um, it gives me this link. That link, the top link, goes into my HTML document. So I'm going to copy that, go back over to my website, index.html. I'm in between the opening and closing head tag before the link to my style sheet. Control V to paste it in. And now I've got those lines of codes from fonts.google.com. It's telling my website how to load this Orbitron font. Now I go back over to fonts.google.com and I copy the CSS rule. Copy that. Notice it says font family Orbitron and a backup of sans serif. In case somebody has a computer that can't display this Orbitron uh, font, it'll back up to just anything with a sans serif, which was kind of what I had before. No serifs there. Now if I run it, beautiful. Now I have this Orbitron font, and I think it looks absolutely great. Hope it helps.